Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make these felt rabbits. They're super for Easter, but indeed any time of year. So let's get started. I'm Christine of Christine's Crafts, and this is all about crafting on a budget. So what are you going to need for your felt rabbits? Well, obviously some felt. So you're going to want a main colour for the body of your rabbit, and a contrast colour for your tummy and inside the ears, and some felt for your tail. I've gone for the classic white, but it's entirely up to you. You're going to need some thread to sew with. I'm using embroidery thread and a different color thread to go with your complementary felt. You're going to want something to stuff your rabbits with, a little bit of toy filling or some wadding, scissors, and you're going to need my pattern. Don't worry, this paper pattern is freely available. The link is on the screen now and it's also in the description below. So if you go to my website, christinescrafts.com, You'll be able to download this absolutely no trouble. There's also some written instructions there if you feel you need those. I'm also saying here you're probably going to need a pen. You may be one of those people that just cuts round the pattern piece, but a lot of people mark it on the felt. So to start with, get your pattern, get it printed off, and then choose which size rabbit you want to make and cut out those relevant pieces. So you're going to cut out the rabbit's body a tail, a tummy, which is oval, and the two ears, which are the inserts for the ears. Once you've got all those pieces, it's time to look at the felt. So to start with, we'll start with the body for your rabbit. So I recommend drawing round it. I've used a permanent marker just so it shows up for you. I recommend that you use an air erasing pen or a pencil or something that's not going to be too obvious if it's left on there at the end. Because the last thing you want when you're making your rabbit is to have big black lines around the outside. So once you've got two bodies, as you can see, I'll just trim mine up a little bit, put them to one side, get your complementing felt, and you're going to put cut out a tummy. Now, if you were careful at the beginning, you'll have seen that one of my rabbits had a heart for a tummy. So I didn't cut out the tummy shape, I cut out a heart shape instead. And also here you'll see I'm cutting out two ears. And I decided they're small enough I don't need to draw around them. I'm just cutting straight around the pattern piece. So you've now got your bodies, your tummy and two ears. So you're going to take the white felt and just cut around the little circle to make the tail. Did you know a rabbit's tail is called a scut apparently? But I call it a tail. So to start with, what we're going to do is make a face on your rabbit. So I've got the black embroidery thread and I'm just going to bring it through from the back where I want one of my eyes to be. And I'm going to form a little arc of stitches. And I'm going to do it by using a little back stitch so that all the stitches join up to each other. And it can be a little tricky to see, but just do a nice little back stitch. It's probably only going to be about four or five stitches. This isn't a big thing and they are tiny stitches. But if you do four or five stitches, it makes it easier for you to put your eyelashes on in a moment because you can see exactly where you want to place them. So once you've got that little arc and you're happy with it and you're thinking, yep, that's my eye, you're going to think about eyelashes. Now, if like me, you've realised you've got a little gap in the middle, you didn't get your stitches quite right, you can just come back through and add a little stitch in that gap. Make sure you're happy. And then bring the thread up at the end of the line of your eye and then drop it in slightly below to form your eyelash. Move along the line of the eye and do the same again bring the thread through and then drop it down below. Now it's up to you how many eyelashes you want, but I recommend four. That's what I've put on my rabbit. So you can see you're just splitting that line up into quarters so that you end up with your four line. And then to finish off, you're going to have one at the end. And as the eyelashes are formed, you start to see it is an eye and you can start to see how cute your rabbit's going to be. Yep, we've got a little eye. Now I've sped up the film where you're just going to repeat that on the other side so that you've got two eyes. And it's an exact repeat of the first one. 
don't worry if they're not exactly identical, mine never are. And then finish your thread off on the back and cut it. Now to form a nose, you're going to use probably a different coloured thread. I'm using one that's very similar to my contrasting felt. I'm forming a little triangle for the nose. So a little horizontal line and then a triangle down from there. Once you're happy with the shape of your triangle, I recommend just doing lots of stitches going from that top line over to one of the side lines. Just working your way along until you fill the whole triangle in so that you get a sweet little nose in whatever colour you've chosen. It should be completely filled in. And then you're going to bring the needle up right at the bottom of that triangle and then do a little stitch straight down. And then set off sideways to form a smile, your little smiley mouth. So you just choose one way to go and you're going to form a nice little curve of back stitches. And then once you're happy with it, you're going to come back to the centre and then form a nice little curve of back stitches the other way. So you end up with a complete face. Again, don't worry if they're not exactly symmetrical. None of us are. So don't worry about it. Just take your time and it'll work out just fine. And then once you've got a smile, you've got a complete face. And you should be starting to think this is really looking like a rabbit. Make sure you're happy with it. And then depending on how much thread you've got, you're probably going to just finish off. Okay. If you've got plenty of thread, you can just come back through from the back at the top of your tummy and start sewing it on. Now we're going to use a blanket stitch. So you go in off the edge of your tummy, back up through the tummy and then wrap the thread around the needle. Up and wrap the thread around the needle. Up through the tummy, wrap the thread around the needle. And this blanket stitch, as it's called, is a stitch you're going to keep using now over and over again on the rabbit. So it's worth making sure you get competent at it. You simply go in through the rabbit's body at the edge of the tummy, up through the tummy, wrap the thread around the needle and then pull it through. Once you get all the way around, you're just going to put your needle to the back and finish off as normal. Now your ears, you've got some little ear inserts. We're going to sew those on in exactly the same way using the blanket stitch. Now it can be a little bit fiddly. So before you start, place your little ear inserts on the ear, make sure you're happy with them and there is space to sew them. And then just blanket stitch around them slowly and carefully and using small stitches. I'm gonna repeat that it is fiddly so don't worry if you find it a little bit tricky, especially if you've gone for the smaller three inch rabbit rather than the four inch rabbit. The one I'm showing you is the four inch rabbit and you can see how small they are. But once you've got those ear inserts on, the front of your rabbit is all finished, all ready to start assembling. So now you're going to take your attention to the other rabbit piece, the other body piece, and you're going to sew the tail onto the back of it. Again, I'm using the blanket stitch and I'm using a thread that matches the tail. Just work your way around, then finish it off and you've got your rabbit pieces. So we've got the back and the front. So turn the back over and place the front on it. And they should match up exactly and we're now going to sew the two together. So again we're back to the blanket stitch only this time you're going all the way around. Take your needle right round to the back of the rabbit outside the back piece of body and come through. And as before you come up and through, wrap the thread around the needle, pull it tight and keep going. Now I've started at the bottom of the rabbit and I've worked my way up one side, right round the head and up round the ears. Now if you want to put any stuffing in the ears, you need to make sure you're putting it in as you go. 
I've decided to leave mine with no stuffing in on this rabbit. On some of them, I put stuffing in. But you will not find it very easy to get it in later. So as you're sewing along, make sure you keep putting it in. And you'll see in a moment, as I get down this ear, I will start putting some stuffing in the head as I sew down this other side of the head. Just keep pushing a bit in to the point that you're happy. You don't have to put loads of stuffing in and have it burst in at the seams. It's however fat you want your little rabbit to be. But if you notice, I keep pushing a bit in, sewing a bit more. And pushing a bit in and sewing a bit more. And just keep adding it until you're happy. And then you need to get your stitching all the way back round to where you started. And then finish off your thread as neatly as you possibly can. And you've got a completed rabbit. And then you can think about how many more you want to make. So you can make great families of these. You can do what you like with them. You can make little houses for them. Um, a favourite of mine is to take a matchbox and you can wrap it in some matching felt. And you can make a little bed inside. Okay, so just take the outer of the matchbox, wrap it, decorate it however you like. Make a little cotton sheet to go inside. You make a tiny little pillowcase that just fits inside. Place your rabbit in and then you can make a little quilt. So you're just going to get some cotton and then put a little bit of toy filling or wadding inside. And there you go. Nice little bed for your rabbit. You can also, of course, put everything inside and you've made a nice little carry case to take your rabbit with you. So, please remember if you're enjoying this video to subscribe below, give me a thumbs up, perhaps leave me a comment. And I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you ever so much for watching and please like a look at my other videos.